everybody and welcome to my channel. This is Leslie. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today I am going to be using the Unforgettable collection from Coco Vanilla. This is the first time I've, I've bought any Coco Vanilla and this is probably my favorite, favorite collection of theirs so far. It is beautiful. It's very watercolory. It's very soft. It's very feminine and um, I've decided to document my birthday photos from this year, 2019, um, with, uh, with this collection. So um, I'm going to be doing a lot of fussy cutting and a lot of um, gluing together as well in the end. So let's get going. I'm going to be using that photo that I am holding there now. And I'm just going to be cutting it, um, the, the edges off just a little bit so that it's not, um, the edges aren't as, uh, as, as, as wide or as thick as um, they are when I printed them out. But um, I just, I, I used to do it with, uh, measure it out and you do it with a ruler or my, um, my what do you call it? Um, my trimmer but I, I just wing it these days now these flowers I already fussy cut out from uh, one of the 12 by 12 sheets I did buy extra floral sheets so I think I bought three extra so I've got four and um, they are just divine and I'm so glad I bought the extra ones because the I can see that that um, ephemera pack is going to go very quickly <laughs> so um, so yes, and this layout is very simple. I'm using one of the 12 by 12 pattern papers um, as my background. It's the floral wreath that I'm going to be using. And um, I'm not going to be changing much about it. I know that there's some of the ladies uh, that I follow on YouTube have done quite amazing things with this piece of paper. But I quite like this piece of paper. All I do is I add another floral cluster to the top left hand corner of the paper and um, I'm going to be using some of the 6x6 papers as well. Now, if you buy the entire kit, you get loads of these 6x6 papers. And they're such good quality. They're thick. It's a th very thick paper. So I'm very happy with that. And um, I'm going to be layering them behind my photo. Um, just having it pop out there from behind my photo a little bit. I love the colors in this collection. On screen, the the orange looks a little more orange than what it is in real life. It it does have a little bit more of a pink hue to it than the orange than that you that you see on screen right now. But it is absolutely divine, and um, yeah, I love the fact that you get so many six by eight pieces as well and I'm glad that it's not six by six I'm glad that it's six by eight so you get a little bit more bang for your buck um, in in that sense so I'm going to be using some of these um, stickers now the the only critical thing I can think of to do with this kit is these stickers they are a bit finicky when you try to pull them off the top layer of the sticker comes off separate from the bottom sticky bit so you have to be very careful when you tear or when you take off the sticker from the sticker sheet that you don't um, separate your sticker from the the top bit from the bottom sticky bit so that's that's the only bit that I'm annoyed with and there you can see I pulled it up on one end and then it started coming off so I needed to pull it up on the other end and um, none of them pulled off enough for me to have to glue the top bit back together again but it's just it's just one of those things that you just have to be mindful of when you do use this this bit I'm going to be using some foam squares just to um, just to give the appearance of a little bit of a um, what do you call it a shadow beneath my my photo not beneath the photo sorry a shadow beneath the embellishment so that there's a little bit of a something texture wise on the on the 
on the page. I'm sitting outside currently, so that's why there's a little bit of background noise. You might hear the wind a little bit. Um, it's starting, the weather is starting to change now, so you can actually go outside. Um, I've been sitting for about 10 minutes outside and I'm starting to, to get really hot. So, um, yeah, but the weather is changing here in Dubai and I'm very happy about that. Uh, that it's um, that you can, you know, sit outside for more than 10 minutes without absolutely dying. <laughs> I'm using some of those beautifully colored um, enamel dots as well, just to bring in some extra texture. And I'm going to be placing them in um, sort of a three um, a trio um, the uh, and applying the rule of thirds um, so top and then bottom left and right of the photo I'm going to be placing them I am also going to be adding that little uh, leaf a uh, sketchy leaf um, to the uh, to the photo just to frame the photo a bit and also adding this little flower to the top um, to the top embellishment uh, with some foam squares just to add a little bit of texture on top there as well because it looked a bit flat to me so I'm going to add that little uh, arrow as well I'm also adding some foam squares behind that arrow so that it pops up a little bit and that's going to be pointing in towards the photo I'm also adding um, I think I'm adding some of the hearts as well and also putting some um, Yes, some of those uh, clear sticker hearts and these peel off very nicely um, they don't you know they don't peel off the way the other stickers are peeling off so that's that's nice and I wanted to mix up the color a bit of the hearts I didn't want to just have one color heart all over and as you can see I applied the rule of thirds there as well only placing the hearts in the three locations on the photo there so I just remembered I forgot to cut off the branding strip of the 12 by 12 paper so I'm just doing that with my trimmer and that is it I am going to be adding a border around my layout and I'm um, with my brush pen and uh, that goes really quickly if you like what you see please give this video a thumbs up and if you are not subscribed please consider subscribing and um, so that you can become a part of the scrappy community um, I love reading all your comments I always read the comments and respond to most of the comments if not all of the comments so I would love to read what you guys have to say and if you guys love this collection as much as I do um, and yeah I've been a bit absent the last couple of months we've started homeschooling Emma so I've been very busy in homeschooling her so <laughs> um, yeah so that is it for this layout again if you like what you see please give a thumbs up 